every person you've seen that Hope Not Hate Contact and used then as a negative source, not just against myself, but against anyone with activism. There's another gentleman here I'm going to introduce you to, Speaker's Corner Steve. He's an activist at Speaker's Corner. Listen to the words he has to say about me. This man. Why you and I have no shame in saying I agree Robinson? with every word Tommy Robinson has ever said. And I have no shame. I have no shame on that. Tommy Robinson has bigger balls than all of you put together. And that's why absolutely. Absolutely. Now over the last three to four months, there's been a lot of negative comments coming out of Steve, which has surprised me totally. I believed it was because he aligned himself with Reform, a political party, and was trying to distance himself from us. But then I saw this video with these allegations. It's my voice. We allowed to sell that Tommy gift. <laughs> <laughs> no one grifts around here. We have no grifters. No drug dealers. No scammers. <laughs> A totally new allegation. I'm a drug dealer, apparently, yeah? You've heard it from Nick Lowell's. And now I've heard it from Speaker's Corner Steve. So it's a new allegation. What possibly could have changed him from supporting me and being close to me and just three, four months ago, totally turned against me and throwing out the same accusations that Nick Lowell's is now throwing out? That's where our source and our mole has been so valuable. I mean, as I understand it, I mean, listen, I'm just going to give you something else, yeah? Go on. Get Steve off of your groups. Steve, speaker's corner. Yeah, get him off all your groups. Is he working with Hope Night? He's, he's, he's met him. He's met him. How long ago did he meet? To him. How long ago did he meet? Him? Uh, I'd say he's been probably messaging probably the last three, four months. Uh, which is when he turned against us. Yeah, so, but get him. He's still in a few of your groups. Don't put it out, though. Do it discreetly, Tommy. Okay. Uh, you know, but they still, they message each other and that, and I know that I talk to Steve and I know, like, you know, I mean, when I get a message from Lowell's like that one, I know he's just got off the phone to Lowell's or, you know, so. Steve, so, so Speaker's Corner Steve's working with Nick Lowell's and has been for three, four months. That makes sense. All makes sense, mate. All makes sense. I decided to ring Steve and see what he's got to say for himself. Hello. Hi, Steve. It's Tommy Robinson. Hello, there. Steve, um, I have evidence that you've been in regular contact with Nick Lowell's from Hope Not Hate. Do you? How would you have that? I have it, mate. So, when was the first time you started getting in contact with him, Steve? Why? 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 just want to see what your relationship is with him and how long it's been Why going is on. Why that? Why is that? Well, because you've totally gone on an attack and, ch and totally changed, and it seems to be from the timing I've been given since you've become a regular contact with Nick Lowell's. Like what, what, Nick a simple Lowell's question is, what, 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 is your, what is your relationship with Nick Lowell's? When did you start having contact it's with irrelevant. Nick Lowell's? It's absolutely irrelevant okay. to anything. Again, okay. you're, I know you're okay. going to try and spin some also, I've also on watched how Nick Steve, has got hold of me. I've also, I've, also, I've also watched a video of you making allegations that I'm a drug dealer. Have you, have you not ever been? No, so where have you, where, where, why would you be throwing that out? I'm a drug dealer. Multiple sources. It's, it's, it's a common statement. Multiple now, sources. You must, be, you must be aware of that. So no, you, only you and Nick Lowell's. So that's what I'm wondering. Where's the source? What's, what's your multiple sources that I'm a drug dealer? Multiple people have told me. Okay. It's, you, the, common, it's the common rumour out on the street. Coming from? <laughs> multiple people. Such multiple as? Sources. Such as, so you, so what you're saying is, you, because you, I've watched you make the accusation. You've said I'm a drug dealer. You've said I'm a drug dealer. Have I, you never been? Have you, ne have you never done that? Have you never, in your entire existence, sold an item of, of, of drugs? No, I haven't. No. So as, as I'll ask you again, you're making a serious accusation against me. You've put it out online. Yeah. You've said I'm a drug dealer. I'm asking you. I said lots of other things about you. Are you going to question me on those other things I, too? I will. Yeah. But we'll start on the drug dealer one because it's the same accusation that's coming from 
Nick Lowell's, and I find out you're in regular contact with Nick Lowell's, just on the phone to him. You found out I've been in regular contact with Nick Lowell's. I mean, what, you, you're demanding me for sources of evidence. What's your source of evidence for that? Someone with him, hope not hate, Nick. Uh, someone with him, hope not hate, buddy. Don't worry, I've got Anyway, a... I've, I've, got, I've got a meeting at 12 o'clock. I can't carry on. Maybe call me back later if you want to continue this conversation. So you, ha you don't have a source. I'm a drug dealer. You're just, you're just, you're just putting it out there. You're just putting it out there. The same, the same thing that Nick Lowe's is putting out there, and you're meeting with him.